All right. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kapadash, ever honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS to rule well, teach well, be a great example to our younger brothers and peace and blessing and salutations and hopefully, all right, pushing the word of truth and necessarily across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, um, Brother Zio, Mississippi camp on the brother Yashin Ma. Yeah, okay. And uh, what we're going to get into today, you know, is dealing with how we've been raised up, okay, for an, for an inheritance, okay? Because as a people, you know, we've been so disconnected, you know, to what rulership is, what an inheritance is, okay, titles, you know, nobility. Okay, because we were raised in this society, you know, and pretty much, you know, uh, Esau pushed the narrative as if we just emerged out of the cotton fields, okay, of Arkansas, you know. We wasn't attached, you know, to legacies of, of dynasties and rulerships and, you know, nobility and being highborn and etiquette and class and order. You know, there's just a bunch of randomness, man, especially in these latter times, these last few, you know, decades. <clears throat> you know, our people just operate in randomness, man. One thing about this truth, it brings us back, you know, to the inheritance promised to our forefathers, man. And this is what we've been raised up for. This is why the Lord, you know, has separated us from this world, okay, because he's prepping us for this great inheritance, this, this eternal inheritance, all right, which is a righteous rulership, you know, and it was established from the beginning, you know, we fell away, all right, we was pretty much cast out, all right, but now through the hour shot, all right, the, the, in this time, the Lord is bringing us in, and he's cleaning us up, he's grooming us for this inheritance, man, you know, you got to go. All right, this is Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Yep. It said, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Yeah, because the heathen beginning with Esau and Edom, they said, why do they rage or why do they conspire? They go in the Hebrew word, Gosh. You know, Esau's main thing is to keep us away from our birthright. Okay? To keep us away from the inheritance of the rulership of the earth. That's why there's so much emphasis on the destruction of the Israelite man. Okay, even weaponizing the woman against the Israelite man, it goes back to a birthright. You know? But the, the, the Lord, all right, the scriptures say how, you know, uh, uh, when you go into the birthright, which we'll get into, but Isaac put emphasis that Jacob, hey, he's, and he will be blessed. <laughs> you see? Yeah, it's over. No, go ahead. All right, you go back to the other side. It says, verse 2, it says, The king of the earth set themselves, set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and against his anointed saint. Yeah. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Hey, read that three in the end of the Okay, uh, I'll, I'll start at two and then then go over to three. It says, yeah, yeah. the king of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed. Yes, yeah, so we got to understand these heathens, the, the upper echelons, all right, for these you know, regular heathens walking around, they don't have a clue what's going on. But the upper echelon of Esau, you know, these elite bankers and you know, these other ruling families of these heathens, they know exactly what it is because, see, rulership goes back to family. Okay? When you hear about a dynasty, that means that those are rulers that come from the same family. Okay? The Herodian dynasty. Okay? The Flavian dynasty. Those are all men that came from the same family that, that, that ruled particular parts of the earth. Okay? Certain emperors. You know, you go back to uh, Japan and China, so-called, you know, 
so-called Japan and China, aiming at Moab, he served emperors, okay, led the uh, Mongolian, uh, Mongolian dynasty, going back to Genghis Khan and his descendants. So when you talk about rulership, it's talking about families, okay? The house of David is an actual family, okay? Because what, they're descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel, which goes back to 12 men, okay? They are the sons of Jacob. Okay, so when we see what the Lord is doing, he's, he, he's, he's raising up a dynasty, okay, of monks, the tribes, man. Okay, the elect represents their, their, their royal family that's coming back into power, man. You can say something. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, and to land back on you, bro, just to put, yeah, how would put his mark on the 12 tribes. How did he put his mark on that? He sent his only begotten son through Judah. You know, through through King David. He said, you know, uh, a rule, righteous ruler will come through your loins. So Yahweh Shah came through Judah, which he put his mark on, on the 12 tribes. I mean, this that's a wrap. That's it. You know, the 12 tribes are his chosen. They solidified. Right. You know, say you know, start coming through their lineage. You know? They, hey, that means, hey, that's our real brother. Come. You know, our brother is going to sit the throne. You know, the firstborn, okay, the, the, the elder, okay, he's going to sit the throne. You know? And what did you how I say? Just to back you up, no greater love than for a brother to lay down his life for his brother mm -hmm. and sister. Yep. So, you know, there it is. Yep. He put on for the people, man. Huh. Like, we, we don't get into that, man. You got it, man. Okay. Verse 3, it said, let us break their chains. They cry and free ourselves and free ourselves from slavery to uh, to your house. Yep. So they say, let's free ourselves from the slavery of the Most High. Because Esau, Edom, mainly, and these heathens, you know, they look at, um, and it's mainly Esau. That these heathens, they really, you know, are, um, <laughs> they're pretty much being bullied mm -hmm. into this rebellion. You know, they got to deal with Esau because he's been blessed with their sword. You know? Now, the, the upper echelon, they into the wickedness that Esau was into, man, but... If you read, you know, um, in the history, man, like, it's certain kings that were, like the Lord will humble them, you know, like Nebuchadnezzar, okay, even Cyrus, you know, they would admit, like, uh, the guy of Daniel, that's right. right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he, that's the real deal. Yeah, 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 that's him, <laughs> you know. Well, see, Esau, it's not in him. It's like, it's a torture for him to do right. Right. Okay? And a part of, a, 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 of our inheritance is us ruling the world in righteousness according to the laws, definitely, and commandments, and the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And to Esau, that's a torture. So he wants to X out, okay, their rulership. He wants to put a permanent X on their rulership. That's why he goes so hard in destroying the minds of our people, man. You know, by our people being in this condition, it's no coincidence. Like, this is. This is intentional. Our people are intentionally the way they are because Esau wants to keep us separated from our inheritance, man. Right. You know? He's saying the, mo the longer I can keep them down, the longer I can keep them yep. away. Yep. You know? Yep. That's the formula. Right. That's why vocab is going so hard. Follow, you know, you go out in Europe. You know? Vocab there in there, uh, uh, Elder Scarf. You know, that's why I start calling him Elder Vocab. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga been scoffing, you know. You see? But his thing is, he's offended that we are saying we're Israelites because what are we saying, man? We're the chosen people and the rightful rulers of the earth. Uh -huh. He's offended at that. Like, how dare these niggas, man? Uh -huh. You know? And then what's so bad about it is the Most High has proven it. Because of, of, of what we're saying is coming to life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's like he's putting his mark behind it. You know, putting his stamp behind it. Yeah. And so, you know, they're, they're running in fear. They're running in scared. You know, because, the, like the brother said, the upper 
upper elite, upper echelon knows what's going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know the lower level, you know they just go on, they you know just follow along. They just collateral damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the upper echelon knows what's going to happen to them, and they know once Yahweh when Yahweh Shah returns that that rulership is over with. Yeah, they, they, yeah. They, you know, hey, turn out the lights and yeah, party's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lights out. Right. Yeah. You got it, bro. All right, verse 4, it said, But the one who rules in heaven laughs. The Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, scoff at them. Yeah, so the Lord is scoffing at them, like you say, be a prophet. You know, because these devils, you know, they try to fight against what's written. They're fulfilling what's written. But their whole thing is to put a seed here in everyone to try to perpetuate this rulership and right. keep us crossed out. You know, they want to be able to attract everybody. They don't want no uprising. You know, that's why I hear right when uh, 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 they told him about your house shot, what did he do? He just started killing right. all the uh, Israelite men. All right? They were two years and younger. That was him trying to exile that inheritance, man. You know, that was him trying to destroy prophecy, man. So he saw what he was doing the same thing today, except it's technological, man. He's like, look, I don't know where, I don't know who's all the Israelites. I'm gonna track everybody. Right. <laughs> so he's like, that's the driving force behind this. Of course, he wants control, and you know, he got this guy complex. But the main agenda is, I'm gonna make sure that they never raise up. That's what he wants to block out. You know, you can say. Okay, you got it. Verse 6 it says, For the Lord declares, I have placed my chosen king on, on the throne of Jerusalem. Yep. On the on my holy mount. And that's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father finna put Yahweh Shai in rulership in the earth. That's why we woke up at this time. Mm -hmm. You see? This is why this is why we not we ain't here to play games. We here to edify each other. Edify the body, you know, like we said the other day, it felt good to rehearse. Right. The right we getting ready for rulership. Right. That's why we deal with brothers like we deal and deal with order and you know, we're constantly around each other and we're in councils and you see, the Lord is prepping us for rulership. That's why you women are it's starting to click. You sisters, you know. Right. Things was you know, uh, uh you know, you had things instilled in you. From Western culture, but then as you start to see it function, now it's starting to click, right. you know, because the Lord is, is prepping us for, for the next rulership. You know, you got to The kings proclaim the proclaim the Lord's decree. Yep. The Lord said to me, Yep. You are my son. Yep. Today I have become your father. Yep. So this is when the heavenly father brought you how it shot for. You see, when two through four. It speaks about what Esau will be attempting to do at the end of this thing. But then it goes back to when the Heavenly Father brought forth Yahweh shot. Okay? Just like you can watch the movie and it show the end and the beginning. Right. And then it'll go ten years earlier. You know, right. and it's build up to the end. Right. And that's what Psalm the second chapter. You know? <laughs> it's like that whole screen. You know, and that's, that's, that, that verse is beautiful, too, because, you know, he said, this day you become my son. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing that we're trying to achieve. Yep. We're trying to become those sons, those righteous rulers. You know, so we're walking that same walk, the same path that Yahweh Shai did when he came on, on the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're, although... Uh, Yahweh Shai glorified the Father. We're glorifying Yahweh Shai and his actions in glorifying the Father. Mm -hmm. So he said, if you see me, you see the Father. Mm -hmm. So we're doing the same thing. Yep. And that goes back to Ezra 7 and 7. You know, we walk in that path. Only one can go. So each brother has to walk that path. But as a collective group, like the brother mentioned, you know, and practicing the righteous acts and doing the duties, we're doing that. You know, but individually, we have to walk that walk. When no, when no camera's on, when nobody's looking, 
What are you doing? Are you still giving your hollow one, your hollow child that honor and that glory? Yeah. You know, that's what's count. He's looking to see who is faithful to him. And like the brother mentioned, these devils can't stand that. No. I see, like going back to the faith, this is why everybody say faith, faith in what? And <laughs> why we're talking about the inheritance. And right. You know, even the everlasting life is part of our inheritance, man. You know, right, that's, that, that, that's within the promises is becoming immortal, all right, as <laughs> we want to get, so that gives us the, 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 the motivation to walk this straight day. It's simple, like, what the heck, well, how can we lose when we got this inheritance? Right. And really, when you believe in this inheritance, there ain't no such thing to lose. Right. You believe in this, ain't no losses. <laughs> and it's almost kind of, it's almost kind of, kind of, it's kind of scary and hard because you don't want to be, as they would say, over righteous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you you like, I I know I got the victory. I know, you know, yeah, you yeah, yeah, and you yeah. get content. And, yeah. You know, you you go through your righteous acts, and but you you know that you say, you know, you secure. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's he it gives you that that. Comfort, you know, yeah, put he, gives you, he gives you tokens. He gives a token to keep going. Right. You know, keep going. You know, like you see 144, it's a, hey, keep going that way. Right. You see certain signs, it just means keep going, man, because we want to endure to the end. Right. And you those are tokens of, of, of don't give up. Yep. You know. Yep. Uh, you can go keep going now. Okay, this is verse uh, 7. It says, The kings proclaim the Lord decree. The Lord said to me, uh, you are my son. Uh, today I have become your father. Yep. Only ask and I will give you the nations as your inheritance, the whole earth as your possession. He said, he said he will give us the nations as an inheritance. So let you know that people are included in the Then mm -hmm. it says the, in the earth as a possession. Okay, so the Lord blessed us with rulership of the earth. He blessed us with everything he gave him, the people, the resources. Okay, so this is our inheritance, man, is global rulership. Okay, and let's just prove it because it began with Yahweh shot, but Abraham, you know, he, through a covenant, came into this inheritance, man, through his what? Through his faith. Let's get that in the. Uh, Acts 4 13, you read in the, uh, in the NLT Bible chapter. Alright, this is Acts 4 and 13. The members of the councils were amazed when they saw the holiness, the boldness, Salaki, of Peter and John. That's, uh, I mean, Salaki, Romans, uh, 4 13, Salaki, Romans 4. All right, this is Romans 4 and 13. He said, Clearly, Yahweh's promise to give the whole earth to Abraham and his descendants was based on his obedience of Yahweh Bashim Abishai law. So, to give what to Abraham? He said, Clearly, Yahweh Bashim Abishai promised to give. The whole earth to Abraham and his descendants. The whole earth to Abraham and his descendants. And that descendants go to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. Okay? So there was a promise, all right, we just read in the song, all right? If they thou art my son, if they have I begotten thee, ask of me and I will give you the heathen for the inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth. So, Abraham, through a covenant, is partaker of the inheritance that was given to Yahweh Shai from the beginning. When it was just the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai just came and brought everything full circle, man, because we lost our weight. Yahweh Shai came and played cleanup and created a, a, a path for us to follow to get back to this glory, to get back to this inheritance, man. Redemption. Redemption. You know, because like I say, we pretty much like bastards. Right. What, what, and what's the difference between the bastard and the heir? The bastard don't have no inheritance. Right. 
even though they have the same father, guess what? A bastard don't have the inheritance that the, the, the heir has. He has no part in it. Okay? And Esau was is, is likened to a bastard. Right. Ishmael was likened to a bastard. Right. He called Isaac the only begotten. Even though Isaac, you know, was uh, after East, uh, after Ishmael, mm -hmm. he called Isaac the only begotten because he's the heir. He's the only seed that matters. <laughs> you see? You got it, bro. All right. It says, uh, the sentence was based not on his obedience to the Holocaust, you know, the law, but on a right relationship with the Yahweh Shimei Abishai that comes by faith. A right relationship with the Yahweh Shimei Abishai that comes by faith. Okay? Because we're coming into a time to where we're going to be tried and we're going to have to showcase faith. That's what's going to seal the inheritance. Mm -hmm. Okay? If there's not a, a set number of laws we can keep and get this inheritance back, Okay, the pathway to the inheritance and their glory is going to be through faith, man. As we read about our forefathers of old, okay, Daniel, he showcased faith. Eleazar showcased faith, man. Those seven Hebrew boys and their mother, they showcased uh, faith, man, which made them be obedient. See, through faith, you're obedient by default. Right. <laughs> if you... If, 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 Faith towards your house by shooting outside, that's going to make you obedient by default, man. Yeah. You know? Going back to Abraham, he showcased the faith. Yeah. That's why your house yeah. called him his friend. Yeah. Because he told him to leave. You know, leave your father's house. You know, and follow me, and I would, you know, take you and, and multiply your seeds more than the sand of the earth. You know, so that would, that takes a lot of faith. Yeah. You know, for, for, for someone to speak to you that you cannot see, feel, or touch to tell you this thing, these things. Now, of course, you know, it may have been an angel that appeared to him and sent it to him, but, you know, still, that takes a lot of faith. Mm -hmm. But uh, Abraham was separated from his father's house. Right. Because he got everything. Yep. Yeah. Because we had to separate from our people. Because what? Abraham separated from his father's house. What did he do? He separated from those traditions. Come on. Okay, and what was um, Torah, Abraham's father, from the child Eve? Mm -hmm. Earth, or the child Eve, he was in Babylon. We're in Babylon. The churches that we want, these are Babylonian churches. When you go into the paganism behind Christianity, which a lot of us came from, it goes back to uh, ancient Babylon, Easter, Christmas. Okay? Yeah. Sunday worship, all these things go back to ancient uh, uh, Babylon, man. Okay, so just as Abraham through faith, because it take you've been in this faith your whole life. I mean, you've been in uh, Christianity your whole life, right? And then just separate from it because right. you heard this word. <laughs> That's the faith of Abraham, right? <laughs> you got to Yeah, I was just gonna say, say which is, is which. A lot of our people today are struggling with that. Yep. You know, they can't walk away from from them tradition. That's why the scriptures tell us don't follow the tradition of yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because, you know, and, 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 and then you know that, that those that have walked away from it, they was chosen. Why? Because Yahweh said, I said, my sheep hear my voice. So when you, when, when you, we heard these scriptures, when we heard this brought out, it resonated with our spirit because it was already instilled in us going back to when the Most High spoke to Jeremiah, and Jeremiah was saying, I'm a babe, but he said, I chose you yeah, yeah. out of your mother's womb. Mm. You know, so, you know, this is, this is what's, you know, what is meant to be. And if, uh, you, uh, it's Romans. Yeah, Romans uh, 13. Yeah, go to Romans 15 to 8, and then we'll go to Ephesians 1 and 9. Predestined, man. Alright, this is Romans 15, 8, you know, too, uh, the KJV. Alright, this is jump to Romans uh, 8 and 29, yeah. Alright, this is Romans 15 and 8. Yep. Now I say that Yahweh Shah was a minister of, of circumstances. A circumcision. A circumcision, a lot. Yep. For the truth of Yahweh 
To confirm the promise made unto the Father. To confirm the promises made unto the Father. So Yahweh Shah was coming to double down on the, those promises and his inheritance, man. But he would have to be a sacrifice to reestablish, okay, those promises, man. Okay? And when you go to Romans 8 and 29, it's going to bag up what the brother was saying that, hey, from the womb, you had certain spirits, the right, of Israel that was, all right, uh, predestined, okay, to be groomed for this rulership, go ahead. All right, this is Romans 8 and 29. Yep. It says, from whom he did for them, yep. he also did predestinate. Yep, predestinate. All right, so there's a remnant that was already predestinated, and the Lord had separated them and started preparing them for rulership. Okay, beginning with the men. It will be conformed to your house shot is going to go into the way. To be conformed to the image of his son. Mm -hmm. That he may be the firstborn among many brothers. Yep, so he may be the firstborn among many brethren. Your house shot, he's the first one to be perfected. You know, the last time he came to the earth, he was here to be perfected. The scriptures say he shall be perfected through suffering. Now he's at the right hand, awaiting to come conquer the earth in righteousness and establish a rulership. Mm -hmm. Okay, and as you know, this thing is playing out. We're being perfected through our suffering, man, uh -huh. for the sake of being these perfect rulers, man. All right, so we can uh, 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 come into this inheritance. We, we're, we're being made worthy joint heirs, the heavenly fathers. What did it report on your house shot? This is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased. Like you said, we want that same report. Huh? To be those sons of whom the Heavenly Father is well pleased. Okay? So these afflictions is conforming us to your house shot for the sake of being joint heirs, man. Yeah. I was just about to say that the fairy dots, you know. Yep. And they come at brothers at all different nights. Yep. And see how your house shot, he was all about the father's business. You know, he didn't, even, he didn't even play around with women. He didn't get into politics. He wasn't trying to be popular, man. He knew what the mission was, man. Oh. You know, every brother got different situations, but we need to be locked into the mission, man. There are certain things that, look, we have to neglect that time for the sake of the mission. Oh. Okay? Our availability ain't going to be there like someone in the world because we on the mission. Like, nah, man, we got to... Complete the mission as your house shot did, man. Right. You know? Uh, what was it on the uh, Ephesians 1 and 9? Ephesians 1 and 9. Alright, this is Ephesians 1, verse 9. KJV NLT. You get the K uh, NLT, yeah. Alright, this is. Ephesians 1 verse 9 NLT. It says, Yahweh Shem Shah has now revealed to us his mystery plan regarding Yahweh Shah. Yeah, so the, the plan, Yahweh Shah is the facilitator of this inheritance. So we read the beginning. Alright? The, the, the blessing was given to Yahweh Shah. Psalm 2, 7, and 8. And the inheritance, the world rulership was given to Yahweh Shah. I will set my king for my heavenly hill of Jerusalem, man. Okay? So now we're in the time where these things are getting ready to be fulfilled because our forefathers knew of this king, Yahweh shot, but they didn't know when and you know, the, the ins right. and outs so, of it. But now we know, okay, this is the time he's coming to right. establish their rulership. You know? Oh, yeah. You're there. Yeah, yeah. A plan to fulfill his own good pleasure. A plan to fulfill his own good pleasure. It's the Heavenly Father's pleasure to establish his people, okay, and rulership beginning with Yahweh Shah. Okay? It's the Lord's pleasure, man, because you think, like, damn, we catch so much hell, you know? But the Lord is doing that 
All right, because we're next for leadership. We have to go through the affliction, the chastening, man. Testing every faith. Yep. And, and uh, that's why he said one third I'll bring through the fire. Going back to Zechariah 13. Yep. You know, one third I'll bring through the fire, but two thirds on the cut off. So yep. if you're among that one third, you know, be thankful, be blessed. You know, count your blessings. As the old people used to say yep. back in the day, count yep. your blessings. Yep. You know, give honor to your how one, your how shot for you know, what he has done for you, you know, but uh, for the two-thirds, you know, if, if, if you're hearing this, you know, you need to be asking, like James 1, in verse, I believe, verse 5, you know, uh, if a man like wisdom, mm -hmm. let him ask, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, this, this is this is very deep, you know, this is, this is that life or death moment going back to Mount Sinai when, you know, Moses told him, choose you this day whether life or death so you know you can die on this side and come back through the kingdom through one of the uh, men of the most high one through 144 or one of the righteous men you know that that the most high decided to bring you back to or you can walk in from this side so you, you got a choice you got them. okay verse 10 it says and this is the plan at his right and at the right time, he will bring everything together under the authority of Yahweh Shah. At the right time. You see? At the right time. And we're in that time. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is why we were called out of darkness into this marvelous light, man. Okay? This is why things are coming together in order, man. Okay? You see, the Lord is just making moves. The Lord is, you know things together, man. The Lord is just preparing His people for leadership. Yep. At the right time, and we hear everything. Hey, the C here, okay? The CBDC is, you know, the thing that they're talking about. Everyone's going to talk about digital currency. All the nations are talking about war. All this uh, uh, tension is going to lead to civil unrest. So everything is established. All the ingredients are in the pot for Yahweh Shah to come back and conquer the earth and righteousness, man. You know? You got it, bro. He said, everything in heaven and on earth. Yep. Oh, yeah. Furthermore, because we are united with Yahweh Shah, we have received an inheritance from Yahweh. Because we are united, reunited with Yahweh Shah, we have received an inheritance from Yahweh the Father. Okay? Our faith in Yahweh Shah includes us in this inheritance, man. Okay, and this doable. Look up Yahweh Shah laid it out for us to win. Mm -hmm. You know, like he, he set it out. He set us up for a victory, man. Mm -hmm. He gave us the playbook. Yeah. yeah. We don't have to sacrifice animals and go to Jerusalem three times a year. Do you know how difficult that would be? Right. Us in this position right now? Right. Because even if, you know, Ten Israelites are able to do that. What about the other people? Right. No, nah, he made it possible for all the believers, okay, to have access, access to this inheritance through faith, man. Mm -hmm. You're right. Uh, just the lamb back up, man, that would be hard. Huh? Everybody went. The man, yeah. the woman, the kids, yeah. and, you know, you got a family of uh, ten of y'all, you know, you have to take a flight to Jerusalem, you know, that, that's some pennies. And the livestock, who got this type of livestock? Right. And then you got to do it every time you see him. Like, who? <laughs> where, 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 where is the temple? Where is the priesthood? Who, who, who has the records of the sons of Aaron, man? Right. Okay? So now, nah, man, how was shot. He was there sacrificing, and now this thing is uh, become spiritual, man. This is an altar right here. Right. You brothers and sisters, you know, you're tuned in, you guess what? You're giving the, you're putting the sacrifice on the altar. You put your obedience, your time, because you can't get this time back. Right. Like if you put that lamb on the altar and once you put fire to it, you can't get that back. You are the altar. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this is the temple. Yep, yep. The body. And we just sacrifice, living sacrifices, man. And it's acceptable. Right. <laughs> you see? You got it, bro. Um, that, that's all I'm going to finish a little. 
Uh, it said, furthermore, because we are we are united with Yahweh Shah, we have received an inheritance from Yahweh. For he chose us in advance, and he made everything work out according to his plan. He made everything work out according to his plan, and we were chosen in advance. This is why it's starting to click. See, for the, the elect, get it. You know, the scriptures say, you know, to, 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 to the holy, these things are plain, but into the wicked, there are stumbling blocks, man. If you, if, you, if you still, like, even the thing of, you got Jake both up against the corner, you know, Jake, you know, no respect for the elders, and, you know, Jake thinking this thing is about gimmicks, it's not clicking. Right. You see, he, they, they're not understanding. You got women talking about, well, we got to look forward to as somebody that don't get it. It's not clicking. Right. They don't understand what's going on here, man. Until the disaster starts. Yeah. Striking. Yeah. Uh -huh. you, you, you don't understand what, 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 what we got to look forward to. You, you don't see the vision. Because see, for the elect, the Lord has laid it out to where we can see it. Right. You know, when you can start seeing, you know, the glimpse right. of how the kingdom going, you know, how it's going to be to a degree, man. Which, you know, it's going to blow our mind no matter what we can fathom, it's going to exceed it. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, Let me get one more verse. Yeah, this, yeah. this is the back of the point I made earlier. Yeah. It says, Yahweh's purpose was that we Jews who were the first to trust in Yahweh Shai, will bring praise and glory to Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. You know, and that go back to that point I made, you know, uh, Yahweh glorified, I mean Yahweh Shai glorified Yahweh, and we're to glorify Yahweh Shai to glorify Yahweh. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a, it's a stepping stone, you mm -hmm. know, and, and that's our purpose, to glorify Yahweh, for the, Yahweh Shai for the work he did, you know, based, you know, through Yahweh, yeah. you know, so all of it goes back to Yahweh, the Father, because he, he does everything, you know, but we're giving him all that glory, we, we have to honor Yahweh Shah because he has the authority, he, you know, the, Yahweh gave him the authority, he, he's going to give him the whole earth, the possession, he just read, yeah. you know, so he has to be, be worthy of, of authority, I mean, be worthy of praise. Let's get that first Peter uh, one and three. Now, that's gonna be in verse four. All uh, right, this is first Peter one and three. Mm -hmm. In the NLT, did we get? Uh, yeah, let's get on NLT. All right, this is first Peter one and three. NLT is to all praises to the Howard, what the Howard Shah, the Father of our Lord, the Howard Shah, and it is by His great mercy that we have been born again. Mm -hmm. Because Yahweh raised Yahweh Shah from the dead. Now we live with great expectation. Yeah, so it said it is by his mercy that we have been born again. Okay? We become a new creature which our minds have been restarted. Mm -hmm. Okay, renewed. And now it's being molded for rulership. Mm -hmm. Okay? Esau wants us to be forever slave. That's why he wants us to chase women, chase money, chase... He wants us to chase the little entertainment he gave us in, in his kingdom. Right. He wants us to make that out of everything. But no, nah, man. The scripture say, hey, whom the son of free is free indeed. See, we're free from that way. We're freeing ourselves because it's a continual process. Right. You know, but we're not slaves, you know, to our little nature like we once were, man. Right. Okay, or to what he considers prosperity. No, prosperity, like you said earlier, man, we want to get those good reports for the most I said, uh, uh, this is my son and who I will please. We want that same report you have with got. Uh, okay, we got something to look forward to, man. We got it, bro. Verse 4, it said, and we have a priceless inheritance. Yep. An inheritance that is kept in heaven for you. Yep, go ahead. Pure and undefiled. Beyond the reach of change and decay. And this is an actual inheritance, man. Okay, this is an actual inheritance, man. Like the things that we're going to receive is going to be pure. Okay? 
no satanic, you know, vibration, you know, you're not going to receive, you know, the scraps of this society. Like, nah, man, we're really going to have everything pure and under five, man. You know? Yeah. You know, you got so, a lot. Yeah. You got, you got, I was just going to say immortality. Yeah. You know, that's the inheritance that we see. Yep. The only way we can die is through your how. Yep. Going to your how You know, because because what did Yahweh say? Be, uh, just roughly paraphrase, be afraid of him that can destroy the soul and the body. Well, yeah, but then that, like, he'll never, that's, that's his promise promises we're going to live forever. Come, come. You know? So that's not even, but yeah, you know, we, I know what you're saying, but you know, yeah. just you know, don't have anybody confused, you know, thinking you're going to, nah, man, really like this. The Lord, he's blessing us with his promise to live. <laughs> you know, like this whole thing is for us to come back to life and it says their glory would I take to myself. Mm -hmm. And when you read that it's speaking of uh, him blessing us with the glory he has which is being immortal. Right. <laughs> you know, so he's gonna grant us, you know, immortality, man. You know? And that alone, that inheritance alone, alright, is gonna have us separated from these heathens is their blessing of immortality. Right. You know? Oh, let's get that in, uh, let's get first, not me, uh, not first, but the logic 1 and 12. We can read it there. Alright, this is Colossians 1 and 12. It says, this is the uh, KJV, giving thanks unto the Father, yeah. which, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. But you have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of light. He's making us worthy. He's making us, you know what I'm saying? He, he, the Lord is really grooming us to be worthy to be joined here. Like, you don't just go before the king, like, it takes grooming. Mm -hmm. All right? You, like, we read in Daniel, before Daniel was even introduced. And Nebuchadnezzar, he had to be trained up for three years straight. Then he was presented to Nebuchadnezzar, him, Mishael, Hananiah, and Azariah. You don't just go before it. No, man, you gotta be groomed up. Like you need to, you need to learn everything. Right. Okay, that's need to, <laughs> that you, that, that need to be known before you go into the courts to service the king. Cause see. It ain't going to be, see, when you're presented before the king, that means you're ready to perform. Okay? So, when, 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 when Yahweh Shah comes and he gets his elect, the elect are already going to be ready to perform. Right. Well, man, the, 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 the brothers, you know, we're learning how to judge now. We're learning how to be in order now. Okay? You sisters, you're learning a different, a whole new way. Right. It ain't about being seen and, 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 and you know, no, no man. Yeah. And, you know, just to land back on you, you think about a king, and you have watched movies before where they they have the king and uh, the son, and the son is young. What does the king do? He get the best nobleman in the country that's under his rulership to train his son. Mm -hmm. And his son is with that man 24 hours, mm -hmm. you know, doing, doing his... Uh, time of being reared up, and then by the time he's reared up to be, uh, to be, you know, honored as a, a duke or 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 some type of, you know, kingmanship, you know, Without his title, right? Like, you know, he's 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 at that mind state, you know, that he can take over the king. Mm -hmm. He's making judgments. He's making like the brother was saying. He's making judgments and making calls. Because the king is questioning him, what would you do, mm -hmm. son? Yeah. You know, he's in, he's sitting in those councils, right? Yeah. So the, I mean, the same scenario, but we're just on a much higher spiritual level mm -hmm. than uh, what's what's going on now. Yeah, read this last one. yeah I'm gonna read both of them in the NFT. He mm -hmm. said, verse twelve. Always thanking the Father, He has enabled you to share in the inheritance. That belong to his people. And so it's like uh, it's a it's a thing of being continually thankful just to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like that should always be on our mind 
just thankful to be here because most of us don't hold nobody. Right. You know? And we, we're not entitled to anything, man. This is all set up based off this goodness, man. Right. Okay? So, like, just to be here, where I said, give me thanks always, man. Like, this is, hey, then the Lord, you see the Lord dealing and, you know, He chastening us and He's raising us up on level in the spirit, man. And, you know, we, we see the process, you know, and when you start something, you know, that's really the time when people quit. When they try something new, is in the beginning. Right. Because they're not seeing the results. Okay, but we done made it to the point where we're seeing results. So it's like, shh, ain't nothing you can tell me. Right. Okay? Oh, yeah. uh, inheritance that belong to his people who live in the light. Yeah. For he has re rescued us from the kingdom of darkness. He rescued us from the kingdom of darkness, and it's speaking of our mind. Because our people's mind, they're still subjugated to this kingdom of darkness, man. Okay, they still subjugated to this. That's why Jake think he made some progress because he got a few million dollars. Because he subjugated to the kingdom of darkness. To him, right. to him, that's salvation. Right. Okay. Go ahead. For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son. He transferred us to the kingdom of his dear son. So first it begins with our minds being rescued and transferred into the minds of the rulers to be and the next rulership to come. And then he's going to physically come rescue us, okay, and establish us in these positions of rulership throughout the earth, man. You know, this is understanding what we're a part of, <laughs> okay? Yeah, just one more verse. He yeah. purchased our freedom and forgave our sins. Yeah, he did that with that sacrifice. And that goes back to Deuteronomy 68 verse, I mean 28 verse 68. Mm -hmm. Our, uh, 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 no man should buy you. Yeah, no man should buy you. And how was shot. That, 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 uh, that lot was reserved for the how was shot. We go back to, uh, um, back. Hebrews, um, redeem, yeah, you know, those to redeem, as my brother said, you know, but, you know, you, hey, understand what we've been raised up for, it's much bigger than the right here and right now, okay, and now, nah, man, we raised up for the society to come, the rulership that's to come, through your house, you know, mm -hmm. so, more will, your brothers, our day, your sisters, and if I once again give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushad, Bashem, Kakadash, that the honors unto the apostles and the elders and she has made the rule well, teach well, being great examples of the brothers. Peace and blessings, say, thanks to the hope of the Shalom. Shalom.